Good morning and howdy. Welcome to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. My name is Troy and this is another installation of our Rover auction chat series. And today we've got something that is exciting and also hilarious at the same time because it is a 2006 Land Rover Range Rover L322 with almost 300,000 miles on it. It's at a dealer auction in the Midwest by a private seller. Well, a private independent dealer. So he must have got a CarMax trade or something. It's only two owners. So there's a lot of things going for it except for the price. He has it listed at like $5,700 which I just sold on $200,000 less for less than that. So obviously like all these independent wholesalers, there's no information um, regarding the condition of the vehicle besides a few rainy pictures. Um, I have been able to deduce that it's most likely Buckingham blue because it kind of looks purple. It's not in bad condition at all. It's just crazy that the, the price is affixed to it, but you know, without any type of maintenance records, without running a car fax, I can't see what, you know, the, the service history and whatnot on it because it looks okay. Actually, it looks pretty honest. And, and actually, it's running in the pictures. And there's no lights on the dash, it, you know, so it seems okay. Um, but that's a crazy thing to say with 200 and some thousand miles. These engines, they like to run, they like oil changes, and they just, they like they like a bit of maintenance. We've I've now stumbled upon three or so 4.4 and 4.2s that have issues that are 100% due to neglect. And this is something that I've never seen before until the past few months. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame that, you know, even these very stout engines are susceptible. So let's check these pictures out. A um, little dent in the back, obviously a little bit of seat bolster wear from getting out, but that looks like it's got the blue piping and blue carpet. I do like the light wood interior in these trucks. Uh, again, look, no dash lights, not even a tire pressure monitor light, which is very impressive. Um, it's even got a half a tank of fuel, guys. This is not too bad. It's an 06, so it's got the uh, old school key. Uh, again, wear and tear from that mileage. Not that anyone was suspecting that mileage was not legit. Um, and, you know, the paint seems to be in okay condition. I think this, this car was driven around by the dealer for a while. There's lots of fast food and whatnot scattered throughout the truck. Looks like it's got, you know, tires with a third of tread left. Maybe a hint of some orange coolant in there. Tow package, tow extender hitch on there. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's incredibly rusty or anything like that either. Um... You know, headliner sag right there in the pictures, but you know this seems okay. I mean, it's cool for like fifteen hundred bucks, um, and it will be auctioned, I believe. I don't know if this is just going to run. I mean, there's a buy it now price, but you should be able. To, this might actually just go through the sale if it doesn't get purchased immediately. So that's it. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this truck and what do you think about the market. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.